I imagine that I have to answer also to the first question at the same time. With this Okay, with this time. Well, you can have some Oh, okay. So, uh, firstly, I, I think that we should uh, define some notions, uh, and especially in strategy, because, you know, we talk about the goals, about the target, but uh, a goal is not a strategic notion. In fact, you can choose a goal, but without strategy. So the problem is how you get a strategic goal. You can think about that in meta strategy and we need a vision. So the problem is that we think that dreams are predictive and it's wrong. So we need to stop the dream and to think with a new maintention, with a vision. And this vision needs strategy. So the problem, especially in Greece, is that we think that everything can be solved by politics. And it's wrong. So the problem is politics can only create problems. But it's impossible for it to solve them without strategy. So we accept, in fact, politics. We accept the power of economy. But at the end, we need strategy and energy. So it, it was a nice joke about transmission. But because I think that when you master a field, you need to also, you need also transmission. You need to uh, bring the knowledge to the other guy and to say to him, you know, you know something, but not the core. And in Greece, we have a paradox because we create strategy, but we don't use it very often. But rarity flexibility, uh, it's possible, in fact, to use them, I mean strategy and energy, to create uh, the good framework to solve problems. So uh, we need to stop to focus only on politics. And the paradox of energy is if you want to use less energy. You don't need economy. You need intelligence, which is totally different. So that's why you have to invest in brain power. So we, we made, they made a lot of jokes. And I think that um, the best power in the field of energy is the brain power. And it's impossible to use it in politics, because in politics you have to explain to all the people what it's impossible to explain. So we don't need that. And um, in strategy we are working in the invisible part of mind. And sometimes, for many people, they think that something which is invisible does not exist. But strategy, in fact, for the common people, yes, indeed, it doesn't exist. But we don't need that. We need only the result. The result is that we need more money to consume less money. It's like a paradox, but we love paradox in Greece, so we don't care about that. So imagine a paradox, we need more energy to consume less energy. And this paradox is solved by nobody. Because in reality, 
there will be more green before the others without being green. There will be green just at the end. For the others, with less intelligent people, they think that to have a green goal, it means that you need a green strategy. No. It's more black and more invisible strategy. And at the end, we will get a green result. So we don't need to um, take account of the result to define our strategy. So now you are talking also about the national strategy. I, I mean, uh, a national strategy always exists, but I think that you are talking about a good national strategy. Preferably, yes. Yes. So this one does not exist always. So just to define it, for me, a good national strategy is a strategy which is compatible with grand strategy in the theory of Rimland, because we belong to this framework. And when it's compatible, you can apply it and you can use it to change what? Your mind or the reality? For simple people, it's always easy to change reality with the others. For few, for few people, it is better to change your mind. So if we change our mind, we will change the reality. And this reality will be the next reality. The next reality will be more um, intelligent. We need smart solution, not just solution. Because if you want just a solution, you can go to Andros and go back in time and use only the weak. But if you have the future in your mind, you need now a smart solution. Why? Because a solution, a classical solution, will be um, the framework of many other problems. So your question is, do we have a solution to solve our problems? And the answer is always yes. But the problem is that we create more problems. So I think that your real question is, can we solve our problems without creating new problems? And the answer is no. We need bigger problems to solve little problems. It's a Greek way of thinking. So when we create big problems, for example, crisis, we are very innovative. We found new solutions. Wars are very innovative. So the problem is that we think that the target of strategy is only peace. No. No. The framework of strategy is war. So the problem is how can we use war, for example, in Ukraine, in Israel, and to change, to have a game changer without. Because we are talking about energy, and we have many specialists in this field. But the problem, everything has changed in 2022, but not due to the national security. Not, it's not due to the national strategy. It's due to the fact that someone saw that it could change the reality. And the reality has robustness, like in the Greek. So we have um, this plasticity, this flexibility, 
and we can find a new solution. In Greece, many people have problems. In the world, many Greeks have solutions. So the problem is that the natural framework of Greece is the world and not Greece. Greece is only the source and that's why we have Hellenism, which is a, a good way to think things. And that's why humanity loves Hellenism. It's not due to Greece. It's due to the fact that with this uh, shape, with this intention, you can bring to the others strategy, security, stability. Why? Because you are stable? No. In fact, we need harmony. And in this framework, this is a paradox, but green is natural as a guess. So we need, in fact, natural green to have, at the end, a green without gas. So we can solve this problem. It's just a problem. It's not a paradox. It's not a trap. But we need to stop dreaming and to think in a more strategic way what is important in the field of energy. And if we are talking about the, the energy of the present, it's too late. We need to think about the energy of the future and the consumption. So if we are thinking in this way, it's possible to solve it. And we can do it. We will do it uh, also with ExxonMobil. We will do it also with the model of Zoe, because it was a revolution in this field. And we have many deposits of gas. The problem is if we have deposit of intelligence in politics, because you can have gas as you can have a book, but you never read it. And you say, it doesn't exist. So for me, we can imagine that gas belongs to the future. So now it's time for Greece to also belong to the future. That's all. The, um, very interesting reflection, as always, from your side. Uh, can you reply the, question, the initial question 